Thanksgiving Day episode of NYPD Blue. <laughs> Look, Sipowitz is beating a confession out of a guy with a turkey leg. <laughs> hey, man, turn it up. Yeah, that's better. Hey, I must be on the same frequency as the remote. Turn it down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, man, let's turn up the bass. Luke. I am your father. <laughs> Luke, give your father a kiss. Okay, that's enough bass. Let's try closed captioning. Say something. Like what? <gasps> wow, that's cool. That's not what I said. God, this is so lame. You're right, I'll just change the channel. Hey, where'd you go? Hey! There's a tornado coming. Steve! Steve! Get me out of here, man! Wait a second. I'm already dead! <laughs> Come on, Twister! You want a piece of me? You want something? Baseball stars up there? Oh, yeah, all the time. Thanks to Babe Ruth. There's no longer an all you could eat buffet up in heaven. <laughs> and I'll tell you something you don't know Babe Ruth was murdered. <laughs> oh, hi, Katie. <sighs> hey, Katie. <sighs> See, man, Katie's trying to tell us something. What is it, girl? Timmy's in trouble. You want us to follow you. Katie, honey, are you so upset? Of course she is. Timmy fell down the well. What's wrong? Well, your father's out of town on a business trip, and there's no one to take Katie to the father-daughter Indian girl meeting. And it was my turn to do the tribal yell. Oh, there it is. Well, Aunt Pam and I think we figured out a way for you to still have your meeting. Really? No, no, no. Come on, Steve. As Spike Lee said as he threw the garbage can through the window, do the right thing. Okay. Steve can let me down. Dad can let me down. I still have Mr. Bear. I love you. Come on, Steve. She's your sister. As Wilford Brimley said about eating oatmeal, it's the right thing to do. All right, Katie. I'll go to the Indian girl meeting with you. Steve, you are a good brother. Mwah. There's one board every minute. <laughs> good job, Steve. I know it's sometimes hard to be a good brother, but it really pays off when you get up to heaven. What do I get? You get to hang out with Elvis. <laughs> Let me tell you something you don't know. Elvis Presley was murdered. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> I just like saying, murder. Murder. Before I begin, I want to thank our gracious hostess, Katie, sitting pretty, and her brother, Steve. Where is Steve? He's probably hiding. Oh, Steve! Do I really have to wear this? You're right. It's missing a certain something. Hmm. I got it. What an inspiring tribute to the Native American culture. He looks just like one of their glorious casinos. Turn me off. Okay, the first order of business is to help Steve pick his Indian name. This is a very important Native American ritual. How about kiss his pillow like woman? No, too personal. I got it. Cheap auto parts. Angel who talks too much. Angel who talks too much, it is. Welcome, Welcome angel, angel who talks, talks too much. much. <laughs> then, the official meeting of the Tee-Pee-Wee tribe begins. Tee-Pee-Wee? <laughs> now, who can tell me what Angel who talks too much did wrong? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Yes, Sean Puffy Clouds. He didn't use the talking stick. That's right. Once the meeting begins, no one speaks unless they're holding the talking stick. I'll get that. Jordan? Jared? 
Don't look at my stupid outfit. <laughs> hey, an Indian girl meeting. I was an Indian guy. Oops. Can't talk. Need stick. <laughs> Thanks, Chief Lenny. Oh, here are your pizzas, girls. All right, appreciate it. Light with tips. <laughs> Jordan, I'm only doing this to help my sister, so don't tell anybody, okay? Hey, don't worry. I'll put a mind block on him so he won't tell a soul. <laughs> Steve's wearing a stupid vest! Whoops. This time for sure. One chain box scene go Don't worry. After that last one, only three billion people know. <laughs> Ask a real Indian what he thinks. Geronimo! What do you think about Indian girls, Jerry? <laughs> Cheer up, man. Have some pizza. It's got pineapple on it. Oh, man. I'd hate to watch Brian's song with you. It's time for all you Indian girls to go home to your wigwams. Already? Wow, those four hours just flew by. Bye, see ya. Thanks, Steve. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time, Kitty. Hold it. I almost forgot to get a head count for the camping trip this weekend. Camping trip? Yeah, yeah. Every year around Thanksgiving, we go out into the woods to honor our Native American heritage. And to get away from my wife, nags like a she-wolf. <laughs> I think Chief Lenny's from the Bob Hopi tribe. <laughs> so, who's in? Please, Steve. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. We're gonna have so much fun. Oh, Christmas Steve, oh, Christmas Steve. You're a lovely brother. Steve. I used to love camping. Being outside, sleeping under the stars. Not me. The only star I want to sleep under is John Tesh. <laughs> Mom, I can't find my tribal feather. Oh, well, that's that. We can't go. No feather, no trip. <laughs> we'll help you find your feather, Katie. <laughs> hey, Marty. Look, I packed some playing cards and some poker chips. We'll still have a good time. Uh, Steve, man, you're not supposed to be playing poker with me. You're supposed to spend time with your sister. So you're not going with me? Well, I thought I'd take some time for myself. I spend 24 hours a day watching over you. And when you sleep, you look just like an angel. You can't find a feather anywhere. Well, I'd love to help, but I'm officially off duty. Oh. So long, Lance. See you in France. <laughs> Ow! Hey, Forrest Gump, get your own feather. Here, Katie, look, I found it. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Have a good time, you guys. Aunt Pam and I will try to have fun without you. Yeah, I got a couple videos I've been meaning to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rear, I forgot Mr. Rear. Katie, hurry up. The bus is waiting. Oh, I wish I had Mr. Bear. <laughs> I wish you could talk better. All right, I love you. I would have said it earlier, but you poured syrup in my gearbox. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. What you building there? A tent. No, no, you mean one of these? Wow. That's a nice tent. It's biodegradable. I'll leave it there, it turns to mulch. <laughs> the chocolate and the marshmallows. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I I forgot the graham crackers. How could you forget the graham crackers? It's the most important part of the s'more. I, I said I was sorry. 
Well, we can't put chocolate and marshmallows on sorry, can we? <laughs> but what is this obsession that you people have with s'mores? Do you want to know what the Native Americans really ate? Huh? Roots. Buffalo. <laughs> Snakes. <laughs> what do you think about that, huh? I want to go home. <laughs> well, since we're not going to be making s'mores, we might as well just turn in and hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't really mess things up. I wish I had a whole case of graham crackers. <laughs> Seems like Steve was just kidding. From now on, he's going to be known as Angel who yanks our chain. Yay! The polo steps up to the plate. Score tied. Bottom of the ninth. <laughs> it's off the wall for a ground rule double. Mark, I am an all-powerful being, not left field at Fenway Park. <laughs> Sorry. Aren't you supposed to be with Steve? Nope. I left him so he could bond with his sister. Oh, very good, Marty. And, uh, I thought maybe we could bond a little, too. Sure, we could have a little tete-a-tete. -tete. <laughs> what do you want to know? What does tete-a-tete -tete mean? <laughs> head to head. Oh. <laughs> you were being funny in one of those ways nobody gets. This bonding isn't getting off to a very good start, Marty. No, wait, 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 wait. I got another question. What are you? I'm the essence of all that is good in the universe. Then why do you always yell at me? I don't always yell at you. <laughs> if I am short with you, it's because I see so much potential in you. Really? So that must mean you like me. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Come on. I'll say it if you say it. Okay. All right, on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. I like you. Thank you. You didn't say it. Say what? I like you. You still like me after what I just did? Wow. You must really like me. <laughs> One more time. B A B B E B B A B B A B B A B. Hold it, hold it. Apparently, Angel, who talks too much, doesn't sing. I think he even knows the words. Of course, I know the words. They've been drummed into my skull. Just let me B A B D B A B. Jordan, what are you doing here? Well, uh, every Thanksgiving, I like to. Yeah, you know, get out by myself and, you know, clear the temple. <laughs> oh, plus, we're shooting a scene from Baywatch over there. Oh, really? What's the episode about? About? <laughs> Dude, it's Baywatch. <laughs> Wanna come check it out? I am not. You are, too. Am not. Are, too. Ah, uh, maybe later. I've got to go be responsible. Responsibilities, kill. <laughs> <laughs> Only babies have teddy bears. That's not true. My brother has a teddy bear. Teddy bears are not cool. Better do. That's because your brother is a baby. Don't worry, Katie. I am not a baby. She's a baby. Well, I wish a real bear would come out of the woods and eat her up. Katie, take your wish back. No, I'm not. No, I want you to take your wish back right now. Okay, okay. I don't wish you were eaten by a bear. Jewish? What? I wish you weren't here. I wish you weren't home. Stupid feather! <laughs> Steve, what are you doing here? Uh, I, I forgot the salt. <laughs> Go back. Go back. <laughs> Katie, I am so mad at you. Yeah, well, I'm mad at you. And I still wish you never came. Please, not again. <laughs> Forgot the pepper. 
with you. Are you still looking at Mel Gibson's butt in Braveheart? Nope. We're looking at Mel Gibson's butt and lethal weapon. Hey, then. Oh, man, I left my bike at the campground. Marty, I need you. Look, Marty, I know you like me. You don't have to say it. I can read your thoughts. Oh, yeah? What am I thinking right now? You're thinking I look like Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Everybody tells me that. Wow. Will you say, how you doing, Chewbacca? No, I will not say, how you doing, Chewbacca? I just said it. Uh-oh. I gotta go help Steve. Good. Go. Help whoever. <laughs> By the way, I like you, too. <laughs> Marty! Marty? <laughs> hey, what's that on your back, man? It's a jetpack. I'm the angel of tomorrow. Today! <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad you're here. That feather I plucked from you, it's granting wishes. For all I know, Katie's turned the entire troop into Beanie Babies. Uh, no, it's not cute. It's serious. Don't worry. I'll save the day. Yeah. Grab hold, Lois. <laughs> up, up, and away! What do you say we take the bus? Good idea. Good thing we got here before they wish for anything. <laughs> Where's Katie? Over there, having tea with Ed Asner. <laughs> Katie. Oh, hello, Steve. Care for some tea? No, no, where's your feather? I don't know. Maybe one of the other girls had to. Where are the dads? Sleeping. I wanted them to go to sleep, and suddenly they did. I wonder if it was the feather or all the beer. <laughs> Come on, we gotta find that feather. I wish I had a quarter. Man, you sure am high. I'm testing the feather. I wish I had the other feather. I wish I was in Dixie. <laughs> I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. What am I saying? I don't know what you're talking about. Zachary Ty Bryant is the cutest boy on Home Improvement. I wish you were here right now. <laughs> Wait a second, this isn't Planet Hollywood. I think I found the magic feather. Zachary Ty you're my hero. No, young lady, the true heroes are America's teachers. <laughs> now, could you please explain to me who you are and what I'm doing here? Give me that feather. No, it's mine. Hey, wait, wait, is this some kind of cult? Yeah. <laughs> I wish you would drop dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Well, bully for you. <laughs> All right, girls, the fun's over. Everybody's got to go to bed. Aww. Yeah. Fear. Ruining our weekend. I don't care, Katie. Go to sleep. <sighs> yeah, this is even better than Charlie Sheen's party. <laughs> I wish Zachary Ty Bryan would go back to where he came from. And I wish that everything would return to normal. And I wish this feather would assemble my tent. Well, at least everything's back to normal. Yeah. Except you've got a sister who's had a pretty crummy weekend. You're right. Poor kid. Maybe I should just whisk her in an ice cream cone. Steve, I think she's had enough magic for one day. What she needs is her brother. You're right. You know, you've really gone soft up in heaven. Yeah. They put something in the food. <laughs> Katie? Leave me alone. Hey, you know I wasn't trying to ruin your weekend out here. You've been like that the whole camping trip. You didn't sing or do arts and crafts. You weren't any fun to be with. I'm sorry, Katie. You are? Yeah, I, I, I've been acting grumpy and selfish this whole weekend. I shouldn't have been that way. Really? Yeah, I'm your brother. and Well, it's kind of hard to say, but... It's okay to say we love each other. We'll say it on the count of three. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. I love you. 
<laughs> made you say it. I taught her that before I died. <laughs> yeah. Steve, I just wanted us to have a good time out here. But now it's too late. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Hey, I only wish this trip wasn't going to be over so soon. A jetpack just crushed our bus. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you eating there? Oh, s'mores Benedict oh. with a side of hash s'mores. Mmm. Need some more s'more sauce. Mmm. Hey, what'd you ever do with that feather? Don't worry, I buried it where no one will ever find it. <laughs>